Hey folks, Armin Hammer here with just the most important breaking news you could possibly imagine. Julian Michaels, not a big fan of CrossFit. I have a few issues with CrossFit, which is not a secret. So Julian Michaels, who became super famous by being a trainer on The Biggest Loser, has just recently been on an Instagram video on Shape where she essentially talks about her issues with CrossFit. Now, as wildly misinformed and not really based in reality as those issues are, I think it's important for us to just take a quick look and see exactly where she has no idea what she's talking about. She brings up specifically a few problems that she sees. One is that there isn't a lot of variety in the movements, that there's maybe 20 to 25 movements that CrossFitters use all the time. And on top of that, she also sees that there isn't a variety in the modalities of exercise and that we're all just training, you know, power mostly. And then she also says that she wants to see new types of training come in, things like agility or flexibility or possibly even endurance, God forbid. What Jillian Michaels doesn't know about CrossFit that just about anybody who does CrossFit or has taught CrossFit or really has any experience in CrossFit is that not only is there more than 20 to 25 movements, but that doing endurance training or flexibility work or really any modalities that aren't just one modality, that's the entire point of CrossFit. So I think just looking past the absolute miss of not knowing what exactly it is people are trying to build with CrossFit, I think I think it's it's really satisfying to just be able to completely brush off all of her criticisms because she just has no idea what she's talking about. The thing that Jillian Michaels doesn't seem to understand about CrossFit is that the point of it is this general physical preparedness to be pretty good at a lot of things, not really great at anything specifically. And while, yes, there's definitely a lot of weightlifting in CrossFit and the sexiness of weightlifting tends to overshadow some of the cardio work that we see a lot of CrossFitters doing, that doesn't mean it's not happening. And secondarily, just because it's sexy and we do it a lot doesn't mean that's bad. What she seems to be misunderstanding, like completely missing the point, is that CrossFit is about general physical preparedness. The entire model of CrossFit is built to develop fitness across broad time and modal domains, constantly varied functional movements. That's the entire point of what CrossFit is trying to develop. And while there's definitely more of an eye on the sexier movements, you know, there's something really satisfying about watching someone hit like a heavy clean and jerk or a heavy back squat versus watching them do, I don't know, intervals on an assault bike. It just, it looks sexier, so maybe it gets some more eyeballs, but that doesn't mean it's not happening. And worse of all, you can't really focus on that lack of attention and just say, because I don't see it, it doesn't exist. Now this video could devolve into me just making fun of the stupid shit that she does on her Instagram for fitness, like whatever this face down, back breaking, reverse leg press thing is. But that's nonsense and that gets us nowhere. It's important for us to realize that she's just out of touch with what makes some things really important in some certain people's lives. and. And that is the capacity for this thing to be fun and interesting and engaging and challenging and repeatable as opposed to whatever the hell this is. Remember folks, there's a whole lot going on in our space and it's easy to miss some of the most interesting and exciting stories. That is what I'm here for. I will see you guys next time. But before I go, I just wanna say thank you very much folks. We are just like 150 subscribers away from 10,000 subscribers on YouTube and that is just mind blowing to me. That was one of the goals that I set for myself when I first launched this channel and I have been day in and day out trying to give you guys some great content. I hope you guys enjoy that content as much as I enjoy making it and if you do like it, please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. That's how we grow this thing. That's how I keep doing this thing for you guys and for myself. Thank you so much. See you guys next time.